Today we're going to look at a more difficult problem when you're solving trig ratios. Okay, I've got the basic steps to go through. First, you're going to decide which trig ratio you are dealing with. Then once you decide your trig ratio, you're going to set it up with the angle and the ratio of the two sides. After you set it up, then you're going to use your calculator to change the decimal or the uh, trig ratio into um, a decimal with four decimal places. You're going to throw a one underneath that decimal and use cross products and then you're going to do any solving. So let's look at what we have here. Okay, We have an angle that's 50 and these two sides are involved in my ratio. So we need to figure out which trig ratio we're going to use. So from this 50 degree angle, which side have we got? We go across the triangle and that gives us our opposite side and then the side opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse. So which trig ratio uses opposite and hypotenuse? Bring over your little cheat sheet and say, okay, which one is opposite and hypotenuse? Well, that's my sine function. So I'm going to take the sine of the angle and that's going to equal the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse. So we have already decided our first step which trig function. So I'm going to set it up as the sine of what angle? Well, our reference angle is 50 degrees. So that's what I fill in for my angle. Now I'm going to set up the ratio of the two sides. So my opposite side is 5. My hypotenuse is unknown, so it's x. Okay, now we need to grab, so we've set up our angle with the ratio of the sides. So we've done step 2. Now let's go to step 3, which is let's use our calculator. So I'm going to grab my calculator and let's clear it out and I'm going to take the sine of 50 degrees and that gives me the decimal point seven six six zero. So I'm going to take four decimal places, 660. I'm going to put it over 1 to make it into a proportion and then I've got 5 over x. Now I can do a simple cross product. So I've changed my calculator, or I've used my calculator to change my ratio to a des four decimals, and I've set up a cross product. Now let's just cross multiply. 5 times 1 is 5, and 0 0.7660 times x is 0.7660x. So that decimal is now my coefficient. To solve it and to get the x by itself, I have to divide by point. 7660 and this is where it gets a little tricky so just treat that as a coefficient and let's divide 5 by that decimal so 5 divided by 0 0.7660 let's see what we get I'm getting 6.527 so that means the side is 6.5 whoops five to seven and that is how long my hypotenuse is now let's see if that makes sense okay I ha our side is the length of the side is five the length of the hypotenuse would be six point five if I, we round it off and that sounds correct but the, because the hypotenuse is always the longest side of a triangle so hope this video was helpful here is another example if you want to pause and look through that. There's another example of setting up a trig ratio.